Okay, how's everybody doing this evening? Um, I want to talk just a little bit about about voting for a block producer before I start this video. Um, everybody should vote for block producer. This community decides how decentralized EOS is, and it was designed that way. It's designed for community involvement. So when I hear stuff about how centralized the EOS is and, and how the whales control the vote and how Black One has 100 million votes. Um, all this stuff makes EOS, or people outside that don't understand how EOS works, thinks that EOS is centralized. But EOS is not centralized. It's not centralized because a majority of the people that hold this token don't have a lot of tokens, but if they all combine together, they have more power than anybody, including Block One. Block One has 10% of the tokens. There's, t there's a billion tokens. Block One has 100 million. And even if you include all the big people, the people that have all the tokens, that's still a small percentage of the tokens that are uh, available or outstanding. You just need to vote. And um, I'm not someone that really cares about who's in the top 21. I'm not somebody that says I gotta have this 21, these 21 block producers. I'm a big fan of all the block producers. Anybody that got involved with this book, uh, project, anybody that is involved with this, I appreciate the work, the time, the effort they put into it. Especially when I know how much work on it went into this before anybody was even chosen. So I, I appreciate everybody doing everything. Uh, that being said, there are two block producers I'd like to recommend tonight that I have been in contact with and I do appreciate their, their efforts and think they'd be great block producers. So if you could vote for these two, I'd really appreciate it. One would be EOS UK, my good friend Roger, a great guy, I've talked to him a few times and I think they make great block producers. So I'd appreciate if you vote EOS UK when you are staking and uh, vote, voting with your tokens. The second one is uh, EOS Tribe. I would appreciate it very much if you vote for EOS Tribe. I think they would make great block producers, and uh, please vote for those two. I would really appreciate it. What I want to talk about tonight is I want to talk about how EOS, EOS is the god, the god of blockchain, the god of blockchain. Before you get all over me, you know, get all weird on me about the, the use of the word god, I want to say how I'm, I'm putting that into context. Not in the sense that I'm saying bow to EOS, everybody worship EOS. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying the creative power of this platform, the power to create something on this platform is almost, um, it's, 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 it's in the generic term, in the in generic way, it's godlike. I mean, the ability to create airdrops, the ability to create tokenizations, the, the ability to create dApps is almost unbelievable, spectacular. The ability to create on this platform is godlike power. That's what I'm saying. And if you don't believe in God, then let's just say it's Big Bang-like power. You know, it's the Big Bang. It's the, it's the Big Bang power of creation or the God-like power of creation, whatever you want to say. But this is the God of, of blockchain. The ability to scale, the ability to create, and the ability to do something, create ideas on this blockchain is, spe is you know, spectacular is a good word, but God-like would be better, I think. It's just almost like god potential on this blockchain. This is godlike, generic god powers to be able to develop on this blockchain. And I don't think very many people really understand how powerful this EOS platform is. Um, and you know, I'm not a negative person. I, I, I don't buy in the ne negativity, but when I listen to some of the stuff out there, I'm really kind of thinking they don't get it. I'm really kind of thinking they don't understand it. I'm really kind of thinking that a lot of people just don't quite get EOS yet. And I, I understand. I completely understand because it's, uh, it takes just a little bit of mental energy, a little bit of time, a little bit of involvement, a little bit of following the project, a little bit of, 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 of research, not a lot, but just a little bit to understand how it works. And once you understand how it works, you really sit back and say, wow. This is going to be something spectacular, big. This is going to be something that's going to launch um, unnumbered amount of ideas. Um, the creation ability on this platform is second to none. Uh, what can be launched from this platform is second to none. Uh, the ability to create 
tokens on this platform is second to none. You know, I grew up in a generation where a lot of people didn't understand very much about how money was created and understand the financial system or understand how the Federal Reserve worked or fiat currencies worked. That gig is up. The people, younger people, the people that are growing up now with the internet and YouTube and all the availability of the information understand how the, the fiat currencies work. They understand how all this paper money, this, this funny money that we, 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 we think in, is, is has some value in our pocket, how, how, how that is so unrealistic and how they're, they're not going to be able to build a future on a fiat currency or a currency that isn't something that's digital or a currency that isn't something that trades without borders, a uh, currency that isn't something that can be utilized anywhere in the world. They understand that. The new, the younger people understand it. The people on the internet today understand it. My generation didn't because we didn't have all the YouTubes and the videos and all the stuff. Like I said, I read the, the book uh, Creature from Jekyll Island uh, in the early 1990s and it blew me away. It just really blew me away. I didn't understand how easy it was to create money. How easy it was just to create money out of thin air. I didn't realize that. I didn't realize that, you know, the government could just borrow money and the money could just be created, you know, once the, uh, once the government decided to borrow it. I just didn't quite get it. But now I do. And I think everybody else does too. Anybody that's interested in this gets it now too. You know, and we understand that. We see that. I mean, we understand that there's a lot of created, made up stuff in this, in this, uh, in this economy. Now you have a platform like EOS. You literally have the same abilities as these fiat currencies to create something on this platform. To create an idea and then be able to tokenize that idea and be able to spread out amongst the community and have that a community to decide the value of that idea. So you, re you literally can create this idea on this platform and have it on a community, have it in a community, a big community, and then have that community support that idea, trade that idea, and give that idea a, a reality, a reality that couldn't happen before. This is something unbelievable. Uh, you, you need to really take it seriously. This is not some pie in the sky, we don't know if it's going to work or not, we have no idea what's going to happen here. This is reality, this is happening as we speak. Ideas are taking place right now, and this is something that everybody that really wants to have some, some stake in this future economy needs to be involved with, and, and, and not hold on to a, a, a past failed system that is failing every day for people. Like I say, people are getting older. They're, they're not having the retirement that they thought they were going to have. They're not having the, uh, the ability to, uh, uh, to have the money they thought they were going to have, like I talked about my, with my grandfather, uh, who's passed away, but uh, before he passed away, really kind of ran out of money. Just, just to, Even though he worked all of his life, did everything he was supposed to do, saved money, worked hard, got a pension, did everything, he just kind of ran out because the money became worthless. You know, the money that he thought he was going to get when he retired was literally worth very little by the time he reached retirement age. That's happening to so many people. So people need to start thinking different, differently about how they're going to uh, plan their future. And when you have the ability to own a token like this and receive ideas, airdrops, and accumulate these and see how well these do in the future, this is really you know, a plan for the future that uh, not many people realize, not people, many people understand. But I think when you do, when you finally get it, uh, you realize how powerful this is. Um, we were just talking the other day about uh, the Everpedia, getting the Everpedia airdrop and the five to one tokens. And if you have quite a few EOS, that, that, that's five to one. So you get a lot, a lot of tokens in uh, Everpedia. So now you got lots and lots of tokens, thousands and thousands of Everpedia tokens. We'll see what Everpedia does. I mean, Everpedia is this, everybody knows Wikipedia. Everybody knows. I mean, come on. It's the, like the most... When I was doing search engine optimization, we always tried to do something on Wikipedia because Wikipedia was always one of the first... Um, uh, when you Googled anything, it was one of the first pages to show up was Wikipedia. So Wikipedia was a very powerful, powerful thing. Very, very, um, very loved by Google. Google loved Wikipedia. I mean, if you got, uh, you, you got Wikipedia going, um, you know, so that you showed up with, in Wikipedia... That was a powerful thing. That was a very powerful thing to have Wikipedia uh, bring up a search result that you were um, you wanted somebody to you know, have somebody notice or see somebody see. So the, the, now you got Everpedia, 
and now you've gotten thousands and thousands and thousands of tokens. And if you have a lot of EOS, you have tens of thousands of tokens in Wikipedia. That is just one, one airdrop, and that's just one idea. That's why this is such a godlike platform, because it cre it's going to create a lot of activity, a lot of ideas, a lot of things are going to sprout from this. And people need to understand it, and people need to get involved. And I hope more people do. And I hope more people watch these videos and see what I'm doing. And they understand what I'm, I'm talking about. Because this is a great way to make some money. This is a great way to make some money. This is a great way to make some money if you got a lot of these tokens. Because you're going to get a lot more tokens. And tokens are going to be worth something in the future. A lot more than this currency that we carry around in our pockets that we think has value that depreciates every single day. More than any of us will ever know because it's a hidden, um, it's, it's, it's hidden how much this money is in, uh, being actually deflated or actually, or actually inflated to where it's not worth anything. So anyway, very powerful, powerful platform. That's why I say this is the god, the god of blockchains, the god of blockchains. Uh, 11 minute video, so I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much.